Я же вам рассказываю, газа нет, воды нет, света нет, тепла нет. Надеемся, что когда-то будет. This is now the daily reality in Ukraine, a country plunged into darkness by Russia's onslaught of missiles. It is so relentless, it's been called the largest attack on energy infrastructure in modern history. The bombardment has left millions of Ukrainians without heat, light, power or water in the depth of a bitter winter. У мене є два діяла. Я, чесно сказати, оце от так от пуховичок. Пуховичок у мене це є. Да. Це чесно, я не, не шуткую. Я так лягаю і то саме. А там я не плачу, я не прибідняю. Ну просто-напросто. Якщо не буде електроенергії, то і нам кирдик якась. Russia has attacked Ukrainian power and water supplies almost weekly since October, as its forces have struggled to hold ground and advance. It has disabled nearly 50% of Ukraine's energy infrastructure, putting millions of people at risk of sickness and death, just as temperatures have plunged. In the hardest hit areas of the front line, citizens have literally been reduced to camping outside. There's still about 60 families living in this neighborhood, in this town, just north of Kupiansk, and everyone is saying the same thing. They can't leave. They've got nowhere to go, and they've got no money to be able to support themselves outside of their own homes. So as you can see here, they're making makeshift sheds, and they're also fashioning homemade stoves just to try and keep the warmth. Among them is Luda, who says she's only alive because of her neighbor, Vladimir. Using the remains of nearby shelled buildings, he built these sheds and barbecues for the elderly members of the community. As we talk, the shelling gets closer. We have a humanitarian bus, crops, a fasol, a bunch of this. And we buy milk. I tell you, there's no gas, there's no water, there's no heat. I don't have to go. I don't have to go. The attacks are so severe, Ukrainian officials have accused Moscow of energy terrorism and weaponizing winter to try to break the population. Well, I think this is the biggest missile attack on energy infrastructure in human history. I cannot remember any other instances when uh, one country uh, launched that many missiles targeting specifically electricity transmission grid and power plants. What kind of impact is that having at the moment on Ukraine? And can you talk me through um, exactly what damage has been done? Well, because of unprecedented scale, the damage is also unprecedented. And I don't think that any other grid operator have, has such an experience that we unfortunately have now. The main problem is every time they fix the damage to energy facilities, they get bombed again. It's much easier and quicker for Russians to destroy the object than for us to repair it. The, the most critical point is to get more air defense systems, to defend our sky. As politicians have lobbied the West for more weapons, civilian initiatives are trying to plug the gap. This garage in a suburb of Kyiv have shifted from making metal 
gates and fences to making makeshift stoves for the civilian population as a response to this energy crisis. They say they've got three different kinds of stoves depending on how destroyed the houses are and what infrastructure those families have. They're using discarded water heaters as a base for the most portable types of stoves that can be used by anyone, who, even those who literally have no homes and are camping in the elements. Нас дуже важливо цей проект реалізовувати зараз ну, дуже швидко, тому що дуже велика кількість людей, яка постраждала внаслідок бойових дій, вони залишилися без світла, без електрики, і в них банально немає можливості приготувати їжу, зігрітися. These makeshift stoves are being delivered to places across the country, like Limen in the north, which was recently liberated from Russian forces, but remains close to the front line. Like many areas, here families are reduced to living below ground to try to keep safe and warm. Выжить. Свет. Самое главное, если бы лето, мы не боялись, мы же не думали, что вот это лето вот так вот. А сейчас боимся только зимы и все. А так. Despite a mounting humanitarian crisis, Ukraine's leaders maintain Russia's attempts to break the population won't work. И тому мы просто все переживемо. Щось поправимо, щось відремонтуємо, щось своє придумаємо. Але в любому випадку Росія Україну точно не зламає. І ця війна закінчиться тільки одним правильним фіналом. І цей фінал називається просто Україна. In the interim for millions of Ukrainians, it is simply about surviving the winter. Ви думаєте, зимою залишатися тут чи все-таки може Откуда я? І ще їхати. Денег нету, роботи нету. Куда їхати? Ну, Харьков поїхати, там тоже стріляють. Смысл? And for people like Vladimir, there's no way out.